Hey everyone, so it's uh, Sunday morning and yesterday I received something quite exciting. Very, very cool. Let's get some lights on in here. Okay, oh, a bit bright, let's turn that down. There we go. In there, there's something I've been waiting for for a little while and I want to show it to you today because it is really cool. I love it. So, yeah, show you what it is. So, yeah, here it is. Look at that. Let me uh, take it out, put it on here, and bring it in a bit closer. It's packed in this lovely box with a uh, looks like pallet wood and straw. Yeah, there it is. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, the guy that made this is called John Norris from John Norris Metal Sculpture. And uh, he emailed me a while ago with um, uh, just a question. I think he was a watcher of the channel. And I saw he had a channel and I checked it out and I was blown away by his work. He'd done some incredible stuff. Um, he, he's done quite a few like kingfisher birds and um, he's done uh, Pegasus and some uh, film characters, all incredible. And I'll, uh, I'll put some of those pictures in this video. Uh, he started out, he told me, uh, from just uh, wanting, looking for something to do and he just made this kingfisher um, bird out of just spoons, basically spoon handles and spoon cups. And uh, I watched his videos and I really, really liked what he's doing. I just love it. It's all recycled stuff. Um, like I say, it's all spoons and things from the scrapyard. Nothing's, nothing's bought from, you know, new. It's all from the scrapyard. And I thought it really suited, um, you know, this really. So I, I gave a few suggestions to him. Just, uh, just I like like the tree look and, and whatever else. And I suggested maybe we could do something with my logo. And he came up with this. Um, like I gave just a few ideas that I had, you know, you know, tree sort of lines and organic shapes, and he 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 came up with that. And I think that is just so cool. I mean, properly blown away by it. I mean, that is some that is a real eye for design and detail. And he really hasn't even been doing it very long. He doesn't have advanced tools or, or CNC cutters, it's basically all done with a cheap welder, a cheap grinder and a cheap die grinder. Yeah, just in a small workshop at home as a hobby. Um, but yeah, brilliant. I think this guy deserves um, you to head over his channel and have a look at him making this. And uh, I think he'd like to do a bit more with it. I say he's new to it. Uh, I think he wouldn't mind taking some commissions and stuff. And, uh, and maybe get a few more views on the channel. But yeah, it's also got LED lights around the back of it. So uh, let me just get them, turn the lights off in here and plug that in so you can see it like that. So I think that being as good as it is, this needs to take a really prime spot in the workshop. I'd like to have it in the man cave so for my own, you know, for my own uh, looking at it and enjoying it. But I think I'll see it more, and it'll be seen more on videos and whatever else if we put it centre stage in the workshop. So I think it should go here, um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang it there. So you can hold it up for me, mm -hmm. so I can decide where it goes. I can't really tell while holding it up. I think probably somewhere about there. Mm. I want to get it as high as possible so it's close to the power, but where it's not blocked when you come in. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think that's sort of central there. This is so to mount this, I'm just going to drive a peg into the wall. Wooden peg. I'm just going to sort of 
drill a bit of a pilot hole so it doesn't crack too much hopefully. Uh, there's no power cables there, they go down, yeah. I'm going to drive a oak peg into that, into the earth bags. We might be a bit long with that, down a touch. so that it was uh, so we had a flat surface and put a bit of glue and stuff in there now we'll mount this, this is going to be what actually holds it screw that into the peg I want it to sit level so I think I need something behind it a bit it's not quite my level surface run the cable properly afterwards but let's just see what we're dealing with it'll look better at night I think with a light wise looks great as it is anyway how cool is that and there it is that is cool right I need to figure out how I'm gonna run a wire to it I want to hide the wire so we'll do that next there we go, you're not going to get the full effect while it's so bright out, the sun's out at the moment, very bright here. In the evenings, with just these two lights on, I think that green should stand out nicely. Oi chickens, you're not meant to be in here. Oi. Dorothy. Dorothy, there's a gang of... <laughs> I thought you might want to say hello. Why is your gang in here? Get out, you menaces. Come on, chicken. Chicken stew for dinner if you're not careful, chickens. Huh? They shot on my floor. Just follow that one around a bit. Come on. Get out of it. <laughs> right, I have decided that I cannot um, have someone spend hundred hours or so, you know, making something for me and then me installed it with a cable sticking out the back of it just because I'm being too lazy to cut into the uh, plaster so I'm going to cut into the plaster and we're going to do it properly I'm going to run the cable properly and patch it up Okay, so I uh, chiseled that out as you saw, and then I run cable up the wall, and it's run into the permanent live of the lighting circuit, um, so it'll be on all the time, uh, which is fine because it hardly uses any power at all, or watt or something if that. Uh, so yeah, we'll just let that dry, that'll all blend in nice then, and then uh, it should all hide away and just be lit up permanently, which is cool. Right, have a look at it tomorrow. I've got it. And there it is. It's up. And cables hidden and everything and it's just wired to be permanently on I mean how cool does that look? 
So uh, I'll come out here and show you when it's a bit darker. I think it will look even cooler then. That looks awesome. So yeah, there it is, evening time in the workshop, lights on and lights up lovely. I'm really enjoying it being in here, really cool. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to John's channel and the videos. I say videos because there's two of them, he made a long and a short one. I've seen both of them, they're both really good. So uh, yeah, go over to the channel, check them out, links will be in the description. Go watch a craftsman, new at it, but clearly a natural. Uh, okay, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.